finish coat hopefully on the cherry plant for Francis. These are alcohol wipes. You just you don't really need them, but Betsy likes them. I I think they're uh, we do use them a lot, but on boats, but not necessarily on plaques. This is a tack rag. I like these particular ones that are from Cleveland Cotton Products, CCPs, because they're not as sticky as some of them. Some of them are so sticky, you get the stick on your hands. I can leave a, I can leave a, a you know, a little sticky mess on the, on whatever you're vanishing. You can get fish eyes. Now this is the kind of, what we call a rub the effect vanish that we like. But you have to probably get it at a marine store. So you probably just get stuff at a hardware store. I guess if you want, you could always use a gloss varnish. I just use what I call a rubbed effect. It's like satin varnish. It's a nice contrast. But it's kind of chilly in here. So I have to Thin it a little. This is, we use this 3C3 Intellex on any varnish or paint, one shot, and no matter what kind of paint or varnish we're using. This is our clean room, by the way, where we do all of the accessories for the boats, like hatches and stuff. So what's the ratio that you like to use between varnish and thinner? I just do it by the capsule, usually one, one and a half capsules. Let's show how much varnish you're adding up to. Not very much, you see. And what do you um, say is the difference when you're using this satin varnish, the rubbed effect, compared to a gloss for people who haven't worked with it before. It's a little different. I'm not sure what you mean. Well, like one thing is that it looks really funny as it's drying. Oh, yeah. It, and people might be tempted to go and try to mess with it. Yeah, but it, it always looks way better when it's fully dry. It looks streaky as it's drying. The one thing we like about the Epiphanes, which is probably a lot more expensive than what you'd find at a hardware store, but it fills the grain better, if that's important. Some of the plaques I did, I just took a tongue oil that you can get at any hardware store and, you know, rubbed on three or four coats, five coats, very simple. I think it comes in either gloss or, or satin. It's a lot easier. So that's something that you can try. It doesn't fill the grain like varnish does, but uh, it looks fine. It is a lot easier.
Some of the models I've been doing very lately, for some reason I've been printing my name instead of writing it. So for the future, it's still him even though it looks a little different. I've gotten more information on the sandbagger that some people were interested in. I put a bow spread on and now I'm getting ready to make a bumpkin. I made one and I didn't like it so. Oh that long, that long uh, bow spread, what did you end up doing with that? How big did it turn out? Pretty big. <laughs> Probably six out eight inches, seven or eight. Wow. When you're pulling your brush, when you're varnishing, you want to be careful not to pull it, show the wrong way, like over here at the edge, pulling it oh, yeah, like that, because then you'll get runs down your side. I always go back over all the edges when I'm done. And you could still get um, runs going through those um, mounting holes that he drilled. Two are bunged on the back, but two go all the way through. So I have this little artist brush here to um, look underneath and catch any drills that go onto the back. I don't worry about them. I'll do it for you. And as I go over it, the last time or two, I put very little pressure on the brush. That helps it to not look brushy when it dries, smooths it out. Try to get a reflection in the light so you can uh, see if you have any light spots or any runs. If you lift your head up and down with the light reflecting, like I'm moving the phone, that's how you can find any light areas or holidays. You want to bend your head down and get it. Right at eye level. All right. I guess the next time we'll be wet sanding and polishing the white top sides of Francis. Yeah. And don't forget, people, we are going to be listing this on eBay when it's completed. I'll give you more notice before it goes on and let you know what day to expect it. And I'll let you know how long of a listing it'll be. But we are going to be selling this model. All right. Thanks. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.